I got married when I was uh, 17. The guy I was married to, he was uh, 29, I think. She entered the room. I saw him and uh, I was scared because it was supposedly my first night. I am from a strict orthodox background. Women are not supposed to work. You don't have to work. All you have to do is your husband, make babies, take care of your mother-in-law, father-in-law. All of my cousins got married before they turned 18. One day, I was coming back from my school and when I got home, I saw two guys sitting in the veranda. My mom told me they came to see me and I was so confused. Then, you know, within a week, they were literally fixing the date, like the wedding day. I told my mom, I don't want to get married. I'm really scared. I had no choice. Because I love my parents more than myself. I got married when I was 17 and a half. The guy I was married to, he was 29. The first night of my marriage, she entered the room. I saw him and uh, I was scared because it was supposedly my first night. He came to the room and I screamed. I told my parents that I wanted to get a divorce. I got married for uh, one day. So when I got my divorce, I had no problem, but uh, everyone else had a problem. If I'm traveling in the bus, people will be like, ah, oh, Jasmine, you got divorced, right? And now your husband divorced you. There was this guy. He was very open, so I was also head over heels. And I told my parents that I also like the guy. And within a month, we got married. So when I got married, the first night, he came to me. He just slapped me on my face. I was froze. So I don't know whether I should cry. I was numb. I was literally done with my life. I had no energy. I didn't even want to fight back. I told my parents, I want to leave this place. I went to Kochi. I started working on myself. I left my family. I applied for a job. I got the job and I joined as a receptionist the next day. I wanted to become a personal trainer. I started working out, which helped me both physically and even mentally. After working there for almost six months, the gym owner, she helped me to go to Bangalore to get the certification done so that I can become a certified trainer. Being a woman and being in this fitness industry, it was great actually. I will say that one of the best decisions I ever made in my entire life. And uh, also it helped me. Like I always consider myself a weak person from my past experience. But uh, after hitting the gym, it uh, really helped my mental health also. I felt empowered. I felt the uh, strong, I felt motivated. Then I was changing. I started eating on time. My physical appearance was also changing. I was uh, kind of bulking. This all happened where I posted a transformation photo, which kind of went viral. The people started getting know more about my story. I did get a lot of support, also a lot of negative comments. There are people who message me on social media that my story inspired them. Rather than waiting, you should start doing something for yourself. Trust me, it's worth a try. If you don't stand up for yourself, end of the day, you're not gonna find success. So stand up for yourself and do not expect there is going to be someone who's gonna come and help you solve all this problem. I am C. Are you?